a letter from Siobhan. How nice. Hi, Kate. Thanks for taking over as host of Anglophenia. Since you're in London, I was thinking a good topic for your first episode would be the differences between British and American homes. Please show everyone around. And make them feel welcome, Siobhan. Make them feel welcome. Hello? Oh, hello! Come on in and I'll put the kettle on. Come on in, I've just put the kettle on. This is the kitchen. Yes, that is the washing machine in the kitchen. It's quite normal to have a washing machine in the kitchen in most UK homes. No matter how small the place is, we can usually squeeze one in. You see, we don't have any plug sockets in the bathroom and we have a general lack of space, so you'll usually find it in the kitchen. Now, this one is a front loader. A normal wash takes about two hours and you can dry your clothes in the same machine. Just switch it to dry. Yeah, that is pretty, as you say, rad. Now then, you've had a long journey. Would you like to use the bathroom? Okay. Here we are, the bathroom, the room with the bath. Now, the light switch is on this cord here. Just turn it on and off with a little tug. Stops any wet hands coming into contact with electricity. We don't want electric shocks. Which reminds me, there are no plug sockets in the bathroom. Strict building regs about this sort of thing. We really don't want electric shocks. Although you will find outlets for electric razors like this one up here. You look confused. Is this the room you're looking for? Oh, you need to spend a penny. Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, during Victorian times, they moved the toilet from outside the home to inside. And then later on with the addition of running water was the bathroom added. So the toilet and bathroom aren't always one in the same. I'm so sorry about that. Right, this way for the toilet, lavatory, loo, or you could say ladies or gents. Here we are, the loo. And over here, we've got the basin. Yes, yes, we have separate hot and cold water taps. Now this dates back to when a lot of houses had separate hot water tanks which could get easily contaminated. So to stop that water mixing with a clean, fresh, cold water supply, we had separate taps. Nowadays though, most houses don't have a separate hot water tank. It's fine to have a mixer tap, but there's something about separate taps that us Brits just seem to find rather charming. So you'll still find them in a lot of modern homes. Now then, let me show you how to get a good temperature. Just turn the hot water on and turn the cold water on. And then here's the fun bit. Just dot your hands between the two. It's rather exhilarating. Now, the left one is a little bit stiff. You'll need to force it. Get it? Force it? <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Ah, oh, there you are. You want to charge your phone? I found this adapter. Thought it might be quite useful. Our plugs are very different in the UK compared to what you have in America. We've got three pins on our plugs instead of two, and all of our plug sockets have an on-off switch. So remember to turn that on if you want to use it. We must look like an awfully accident-prone bunch here in the UK. Ooh, are you a little bit warm? I'm afraid we don't have any air conditioning in our homes as it rarely gets warm enough. But there's nothing quite like a bit of good old fashioned fresh air from outside. So if you get too hot, just open a window. Ah, <coughs> it's lovely stuff. Just try not to leave it open too wide, otherwise you'll get a room full of pigeons. Now, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And why don't you make yourself comfortable? Subscribe for more videos and stick around for a while, because I think we're going to get along just splendidly. Remember, you can tweet us at Anglophenia and you can totally stalk us on Facebook too by liking our page. It's probably raining outside, so stay in and watch this one. Who needs a room with a view when you can watch that one? Are you bored of watching the washing machine? We'll try this one.